Among the team members today, MD Mad Dog Evans, he'll be bringing in the American flag. A tandem jump, Jim Horak. He's got 6,500 jumps and 34 years as a skydiver. Tony Antonovich, 3,200 jumps. Jeff Stewart, 1,500 jumps. Dan Flynn, 5,000 jumps. Mike Bird Graber, 1,200 jumps. Axel Grissett, 750 jumps. John Slim Chasen, 3,300 jumps. Timber McKinney, 4,000 jumps. Kevin Elvis King, 400 jumps. Bill Hush Puppy Clark, 1,000 jumps. We've got jumpers in the air, and we will see those canopies appearing momentarily as they approach 5,000 feet above the ground. You can see one of those white specks. That's the tandem jumper. Other jumpers coming in with smoke. Canopies now opening up at about 3,000 feet above the ground. Caroline Coleman, 2,200 jumps. Jeffrey Hendricks, 400 jumps. John Lehman, 900 jumps. Jeff Barney, 270 jumps. Jose Santiago, 750 jumps. Don Cripps, 3,000 jumps. Wayne Lancaster, 600 jumps. Those are the members of the Emerald Coast Skydiving Team. Look at those canopies, ladies and gentlemen. Some of them range in size from about 125 square feet that have a forward, capable, forward speed capable of about 35 to 40 miles per hour. And some of the larger canopies have forward speeds of about 22 miles per hour. They are ram air canopies. They are actually flexible winged gliders. They are very controllable, very maneuverable. As you can see, sometimes the jumpers will actually spiral down. As you can see, the jumper with smoke right now reaching downward speeds in excess of 60 miles per hour. To turn left, the jumpers just pull on the left steering line. To turn right, the jumpers pull on the right steering line. Spiraling down, they pull on both they collapse, curl down the front end of the canopy till they get that curling, curling shape. Now, as they approach about 2,000 feet above the ground, they can hear you. So we've got about 15 or 20,000 people here right now. Let's make some noise. Let's. They can hear you. Let them know how much you appreciate them. Maybe they'll even kick their feet for you. Hey, guys, kick your feet. Working their way down toward the crowd. Watch them as they maneuver those steering lines. Coming right in, look at that. A beautiful tiptoe landing. Another landing right on the tiptoes. They steer these canopies just like the Wright brothers steered their first airplane back in 1903 by changing the shape of the wing, or what is called wing warping. These smaller canopies, watch this one zooming in from the right right now. That's one of the small zoomy canopies coming in at some uh, close to 40 miles per hour. Look at that, drag it up! Oh, yeah, free fall photographer. How do you like that? Great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Jumpers away from the second pass of the Cessna Caravan. From 10,000 feet above the ground. Beautiful touchdowns for all the members of the Emerald Coast skydiving team. Look at the blue and gold canopy representing the United States Navy Blue Angels high and overhead, faced into the wind, almost going zero airspeed right now. And you can see the smoke coming from another jumper. When that jumper reaches 3,500 feet, he'll reach behind. Now they're opening at about 5,000 feet. He'll reach out from his hip, toss out a little leather ball. That'll deploy a small a pilot parachute. We'll pull the main canopy out. And the canopy that's red, white, and blue that looks like the American flag is MD Mad Dog Evans. And he is going to be bringing in the American flag.
as Mrs. Libby Hargrave will be singing our national anthem as she has every year since 1995 here at the Pensacola Blue Angels Homecoming Air Show. <laughs> The Geico Sky Typers. Take a look at them, ladies and gentlemen. Painting the American flag in the sky. Is that a beautiful sight or what? The Aerostars Formation Team. They are now overhead. Those three Yak 52 aircraft being piloted today by Harvey Meek in the lead. The number two aircraft, Paul Hornick, and the number three aircraft, David Monroe, circling the jumper. This blue and gold canopy actually has two jumpers. It is a tandem jump. Watch them as they come in to land. That pilot chute, that white chute you see there, was the white speck that you saw during the first jump. Watch, here comes the tandem jump, pulling the legs up in preparation for landing, pointing it right on into the wind, pulling on the steering lines. A beautiful stand-up landing! Now when when the flag reaches 1,500 feet above the ground, that's when we'll start the national anthem. But do you see, is it a beautiful sight for the Geico Sky Typers? The air show smoke from the Aerostars team. This is a great view. Stop what you're doing, remove your caps, come to attention, and join Mrs. Libby Hargrave in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes